In a school hall, chairs are arranged in rows of five at first. A teacher brought in 34 more chairs and rearranged them into rows of seven. As a result, there are two more rows. And how many rows are there in the hall now? Alright, so at the start, each row there are five chairs. And once again, you put a dollar dot here because you do not know how many rows are there at first. Okay, so you put a question mark here. And now what happened? The teacher brought in 34 more chairs. So over here, he must extend by another 34. And now the total chairs here are being rearranged into rows of seven. Okay, so you have to draw a longer model. Okay, which is seven over here. And seven, and here put dollar dot. And what happened? There are two more rows. All right, so over here, there's extra two rows. And over here is the same number of rows as this number of rows here. Do you understand? I repeat again. All right. Uh, at the start, each row, there are five chairs. And the teacher brought in 34 more chairs. So over here, I stand by 34. And now the total chairs here are being rearranged into rows of seven. And we also know that there are two more extra rows here. So over here, there's two more rows of seven. And over here, the number of rows here will be the same as the number of rows here. Do you understand? Okay, and another thing to take note is, when you draw the model, you have to make sure that this length of this model here is the same as this length of this model here. Right, because the total is unchanged. Okay? Alright, so what do we do now? Okay, you have to find a difference over here. Alright, to find a difference, you have to take 7 times 2 get 14 and then you take 34 minus 14 to find a difference over here all right so 34 minus 14 you get 20 and after you have to find a difference you got to find a gap the gap will be 7 minus 5 which is 2 and now you can apply the gap and difference concept you take the difference divided by the gap you get a number of rows over here in this question mark here so 20 divided by 2, you get 10. And now the question asks for the rows in the hall now. You can see that I have made this in capital letters. Because 10 is not the answer. In the hall now means you must take 10 rows plus 2 more rows here. And the answer will be 12 rows of chairs.